Good day, fellas. I hope you're ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with M41 Bulldog because we're gaming lately changed this vehicle quite a bit. Where gaming was kind and they gave 5mm penetration with the standard shells, 5mm penetration with the gold shells, DPM increase, which is actually very, very good. Right? The DPM is always good. Aim time and dispersion um, values are better now. So that means you can you can shoot better. But the main problem of the Walker Bulldog is that it's not so great tank for spotting. That being said, expectation values. Fellas, when patch came, nothing changed. Uh, pretty much expectation values are sitting on the same level and nothing changed whatsoever you might wonder skill but why is it looking like this and why nothing changed well the answer is simple uh unfortunately but this tank cannot compete with the proper spotters uh the shape of this tank the form of this tank the size of this tank is not that great um uh, not that good you know don't get me wrong you can do damage with this tank, right? The gun handling is decent enough. The, the DPM after changes especially is quite nice. You can run like crazy mother trucker to the left, to the right, but you just simply cannot spot as good as other light tanks can. And that basically means this tank is kind of useless, you know? It's just, it just is. This is, this is my attitude and this is what I think. Don't get me wrong, you still can spot when you know the positions from where you can spot, right? As an example, how often do you see someone coming here, knocking both of the trees and spotting every sniper schnitzel over there, everyone peak, uh, crossing like this, and if someone is taking a bad angle here, we are going to spot them as well, right? But for that, you need to know the positions and, uh, if you know positions, why would you play with a bulldog when there is plenty of the other better tanks to play? Um, what do I mean by saying this? I mean, this vehicle is just simply... Yeah, I feel him. So what happened? Arta said hello for enemy bulldog. Minus 800 in the face. Minus 800 in... <laughs> It's all because of his sheer size, okay? If not the size, if he would be with the LC even, uh, Arta would miss him. And now, unfortunately, he was playing with the wrong tank. Unfortunate, what can I say? A hashtag never lucky. Anyways, what I want to say, I want to say in order for this tank to, uh, to be more played or to be better, I would say the most important thing and the most important change which should be made is to give the camo, better camo values. Uh, because in my humble opinion, this tank is once again, it's not a light tank. It is a hybrid between the light tank and between the, um, and between the medium tank. You are focusing more on the damage. That's what I would say. And that's what I think. And, uh, don't get me wrong. This tank is not alone who, um, who has this play style. There is a gem German bulldog, actually two versions, a black dog and gray dog. And in the same time, there is a Chinese bulldog as well, right? Which is copy pasted American bulldog. And all of the them are the same uh spotting wise they are far away from being great but the gun handling uh, the damage you know everything is fine with those tanks in this way and in a way we can say it is making those tanks unique to the certain extent by the way i'm just going to sit here for a moment i am waiting until enemies will mess up this is exactly what i am doing right i am spotting this one to 2 tm which is very very nice and i am feeling great about all of this this is okay i know that he will try to get even closer than this which is fine and you know what he should not outspot me unless i am going to shoot and since i have cvs I should be able to slap him without bigger problems whatsoever. As you can see, we are sitting very, very well. We are trying to shoot his cupola. Good. Very, very good. Can we shoot maybe his lower plate? I mean, it's 50-50. Will we penetrate or not? And it doesn't look like we are going to penetrate. Hmm. What is the correct play? At this point, I am thinking maybe we could make pressure somehow for the enemies in a bit different way right i am thinking maybe we could uh, pay attention to the heavy line because 
it is matter of the time whenever our Škoda will fall, uh, will fall or fall. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He should fall soon, and whenever he will, we are going to have a blast while beating the living crap out of everyone who is who is playing here. Oh, Ikea! Excuse me, I fellas, there is no chance he will uh, fall. My lovely Ikea, I am here with you, you sexy, magnificent mother trucker. Fellas, there is no chance Baboon will die. Nope. There is, we won't have a single baboon harmed during this video. I can promise you that. Here you go, you see? We are going to support him to the best of our abilities and you know what? Shrek isn't enjoying it. Shrek doesn't have a great time, he's thinking who is shooting us and you know what? Me from the bush is waving and saying, I am buddy, I am. How are you? Meanwhile. Dede, Fede and Hori, I do not really think they are going to enjoy their experience here. I don't really mind, I can, I can play aggressively. Now, let's see. He just fired. Okay, mister, how are you doing? I am just simply going to flank him. I will wait until Škoda will join and whenever Škoda will join we are going to have the best time in the world of tanks. At least that's what I want to believe. Ah, uh, Škoda is still on the reload, that's okay. That's fine, can I be safe? I do not really think so. I do not really think I can be safe, but it's okay. We are alive, that's the most important thing. Fellas, I was about to sacrifice Škoda T56, but uh, you know, I noticed his baboon, so um, we are going to fight to live another day. That's what I think, fellas. Anyways, uh, what do we want to do next? Next, through the middle of the field, we should be able to slap 1 to 2 TM and trash 103, and after that, all we need to do, we need to go for mushrooms. That's all we need to do. Hi there. How are you doing? Pay attention at the gun handling. Gun handling isn't bad, fellas. Truly, gun handling isn't bad of this vehicle and I cannot complain about this tank where the, where the gun stats goes or where the, where the other attributes from the gun. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. I'm a bit focusing on the game, don't mind me if I do. Okay, all we need to do now, we need to claim the rest of the enemy lives. That's all we need to do. I'm not going to stop, I am just going to go through the middle of the field. It's fine, we got this. Very, very nice. So first game, I would rate it as a great success. I think we played well and I think we did um, proper things. I think we highlighted um, a good feature of this tank, which is gun. And plus on top of that, we managed to get some uh, assisting damage as well. Uh, and we saved the baboon, but I have a feeling he didn't... Ah, what you are doing? What are you doing, ah? Huh? What are you doing? You did not manage to find water to drown. You son of the... If you did not notice what happened, Arta sticked his gun in the rock and he is saying farewell, uh, fellas. It was a pleasure to fight with you and... But um, not enough splash damage. What can I say? Unfortunate. Anyways... Everything looked very, very well in the first game. I would not act surprised if it would be Ace since it is not very popular tank and expectation values are overall lower for uh, for tanks like this, right? So what do we have? We have 1.9 thousand damage, 2.9 thousand assisting damage, beautiful, beautiful Ace. I'm happy with this. 1.2 base experience and we made 34 thousand credits, which is very, very nice. Absolutely glorious. How our baboon uh, dealt Ikea, 3 3.4 thousand damage. Stop flexing when they're tracker, unbelievable. Okay, guys, Prokurovka. Huh. I never like this map with the light tank. Never, fellas. Absolutely never. Okay, fair enough. I'm lucky. You know that, I know that. There is nothing to talk about. What we are going to do in this situation, in this situation, we are going to take a typical bush and very, very safe bush. I am aware of that, that enemies have pretty much two light tanks. One is ELC even and the other is Borat, right? Which is very dangerous for us, but I believe we are going to be alright. 
our mission is to spot people who are crossing through the middle of the field and who are making silly goose decisions, right? And we spotted Borat. Unfortunately, from our guns, what we have in the one-two line, they did not manage to eliminate him from the game. I would not act surprised if this gentleman would have full CVS setup, right? Uh, because he was extremely aggressive um, where he was going to or what kind of, uh, towards what kind of bush he was heading to. Now, in this situation, we care only about one thing. ELC even needs to die. Whenever ELC even dies, we can play super aggressively, but until then, we need to sit here still while having our uh, tail under our legs and we are just enjoying ourselves and having a great time. G2 ELC. I can't do anything about that, mate. I am just giving info. Ooh, I am just giving information about this situation. You know that I just simply cannot do absolutely anything. I would love to say, you know, I can throw the bloody dart uh, and and uh, kill him in this way, but it is impossible. I just need to wait until the ELC even will make a mistake. And even if I would go full trollolo mode towards this guy, it still. It is not guaranteed that I am going to eliminate him from the game and I am going to kill him, right? So, stay put, stay still, and let's wait for it. Let's simply be patient. This is Prokrovka, fellas. What can I say? And it happened to be that we... You know what is the what is, uh, comedic aspect uh, from, uh, uh, from all of this? The biggest comedic aspect is that I said uh, that you cannot spot with this tank previous game i had 3000 assisting damage this game if i will do everything properly i believe i am going to sit on as a bare minimum 7000 assisting damage right and i said this tank has a weak side of the spotting but once again i am getting lucky with a with a matchmaking and in the same time i think i know how to spot in this game our Leopard is getting spotted. How to dig enemy ELC even? This is the question. The thing is, whenever I will get spotted, I'm dead meat. I'm literally dead meat. They have all mighty Jack Pizda sitting over there. They have Leo. They have Borat. I am aware of that, you know? What I want to see, I want to see them... I want to see this ELC taking one for the team and that's it. Okay, I could escape from here. Do I want to? If I will escape from this position, I am going to leave the ELC to be king of the hill over there. Do I want to do this, fellas? Not really, right? Uh, the other plan which I have in my head is to pretty much go like this and try to approach them from the different side. But I'm not entirely sure. I am not entirely sure do, you, do I want to go this way. Let me think, fellas. What is happening in my head? I am calculating the risks and I am trying to figure out do I actually want to relocate from here. I mean, what do I have to lose? I'm relocating from here. Once again, the main reason why so, because ELC is sitting comfy over there and I cannot do absolutely anything for him. I am going to approach this guy somehow, but not straight like this. Not yet. Not yet, fellas. It's not the time. What do we want? Oh, hi there. How are you doing? Having a great time, enjoying yourself. Ay, ay. Okay, guys, please kill this ELC. Please kill this ELC. Then we can spot one to a line. Come on, big boys. Kill this ELC. No one. Okay, you know what? I want to believe that he might try to do the... Uh, he might try to pull the same uh, thing again. He might try to go to the same position. This is what I think. And I'm not even joking. As you can see, I am not spotted at this... Ooh! At this point, I'm not spotted. And oh, boys, oh, boys. The snipers! Oh, what a beauty, fellas. What a beauty. Okay, 4.1 thousand damage. Beautiful. <coughs> we can get significantly more. All we need to do, we need to dig the CLC. Now, I need to figure out 
Am I all the time spotted or not? This is the question. Am I all the time spotted or not? I think I need to risk it for the biscuit. I am considering my life choices. I see the Leo died since Leo died DLC is sitting somewhere over there, okay? I know how risky that is. Let's go like this. Let's try to hunt him down. Yeah, not a big surprise. It's okay. I thought it is going to be a bit better, honestly. My my hardcore pressure was in a way desperate and I thought this is going to be a good idea to um, take this position here instead of going straight like this. But that's okay. I cannot complain about this. We were spotting like crazy mother truckers and uh, I believe uh, most of the people would be happy with this score. Plus on top of that I have a feeling we might have some blind assisting damage which we will figure out everything in a moment. Let's teleport to the scoreboard. And we are back fellas. Good. Skill, you noob, you did 300 damage. I know, I know, right? But we have solid 6.7 thousand assisting damage. That's great. Enemy LC played well. Enemy LC was annoying and that was the most important part of the LC. Now, one thought um, out of the bloom. I think if one team has ELC, even other team should have ELC even. This is a typical, this is a typical situation whenever one tank has, uh, whenever one side has extremely good light tank, um, we are the light tank ability goes, and other has kind of um, bad light tank. But luckily we know the bushes, we know how to play the game, and it happened to be that we made it work. Uh, but you get the point what I am saying, right? Anyways, good. I am feeling happy about all of this. We made 39,000 profits and we are feeling all right. Uh, so far, our performance, fellas, damage-wise, I'm doing 1,000 damage and I'm spotting 5,000 average. <laughs> With a tank which I cannot spot. You know what? All I needed to do to complain about assisting damage and look at this beauty. Where gaming is giving us ENSC so we can show how the gun is looking like. Okay, okay, we're gaming. Are uh, we following you and we can see everything. So let's see what we can do in the third game. Hmm. I do not want to be too aggressive. I truly do not want to go super aggressively. It's just simply not worth it. Although we have plenty of the guys going here. Hmm. If you are wondering what is happening in my pigeon head, I am considering my life choices. Do I want to be very much involved or I just want to uh, play somewhere nearby, if you know what I mean. This is what I am trying to figure out. Oh yoy, most of the enemies are spotted already, although they have a Hashem and ELC even. That being said, there is a humongous chance that a Hashem and ELC even is sitting somewhere over there. This is what I am thinking. ELC even is sitting here. Okay, that's it. Uh, this side is uh, empty. Skill, how do you know that and why are, Why would you risk like this to go in front? Because I am 99% sure no one is sitting here. Uh, ELC gave us enough information just by getting spotted, you know? Because it would be kind of pain in the butt to um, to dig out ELC and Er Hashem, you know? That would be kind of pain in the ass, but oh well. Luckily for us... They made a different decision. Okay, good, good, good. Object is sitting somewhere in the back. Not a big deal whatsoever. I need to find the angle from where I can shoot enemies and from where I can do some damage, right? <laughs> By the way, uh, just to let you know, we have 1,100 uh, assisting damage. I do not know what have I done. I don't even have optics. It is my curse for today, fellas. All I needed to do, I needed to say that I cannot spot with the tank and the tank uh, uh, is doing everything to prove us wrong, if you know what I mean. And I'm not complaining about this. I'm actually pretty happy and for me it is a, a comedic aspect at this point. Okay, he has a magazine probably. How I can get more use? I do not have hit points. I was greedy mother tracker. Mm, I don't really like this. I do not really like this, fellas. Hard map. It's okay. Even though we are playing in the hard map, we will try to do our best in order to make it work. You see, LC is currently on the reload. What that basically means, that basically means he is dead. Very, very nice. How about this Ergashem? 
I'm going to take uh, my time and I'm going to load the high explosive ammunition and I will try to say hello for him. Beautiful shot to the Ragasham, very, very nice. Let's keep it up. I'm just going to keep bursting here. Until I will see the splash, I saw the splash. I will keep bursting over there. Beautiful. A bit of the damage left, right and center is always very much appreciated. In fact, in this situation, I still want to sit in this area. Skill, why are you sitting over there? The thing is, I just think this is the proper play. And in the same time, we can expect this Jack Tiger going ta -ta 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 like this. I would not act surprised that we are going to see him in approximately 5 seconds or so. So let's wait for it. Okay, beautiful. Jack Tiger 88 is making a hardcore pressure here. How I can penetrate him? Do I have enough penetration? I know about Ergashem sniping from the back, don't you worry, and I don't, uh, do not feel like I really want to shoot the gold ammunition here. Gold ammunition, 215 millimeters of penetration. Is it enough? Is it enough? This is the question. Is it enough? Very hard game. Extremely hard game, fellas. I do not recommend to shoot gold with this tank, by the way. The main reason why I do not recommend to shoot gold because it is super expensive. And I do not really think you are getting uh, enough uh, reward for a price you are paying. You know? I just do not really think it is worth it. This is how I feel about this. Good. Very, very nice. Okay, how we could get some more use? This is a struggle, honestly. Where this game goes, I would say this is a humongous struggle and I'm trying to do my best. But you know, we are we are just we are existing at this point. This is how I feel like. This is how I feel like. I feel like we are just existing. Come on, big boys. Jack Tiger 88. I need to have gold once again. And he is paying attention at us. At least it looks like it. Good. This is exactly what we want to see. Mm, okay, greedy. Very, very hard game. I'm not very happy for a last battle, but let it be. It is how it is. Sometimes it happens. Um, unfortunately, map wasn't ours, and I have not played uh, my best game over there, which is okay, you know? What can I say about this? I lost unnecessary hit points for Bucket. I knew I could get sniped while I'm farming of a cut tank. After that, by peeking sideways, I took one for the team, for T uh, from the TN hush, which wasn't the smartest thing ever. And after that, I just got claimed by Jack Tiger. It's okay. Accepted. Better luck next time. And let's see what is the score. Fingers crossed for our team to win. Actually, you know what? Let's watch this. Two versus one. Star one is sitting around the corner over there, and we have two one-shotable tanks. This game can easily go both ways. I hear the tinged. What that means, that means this guy could have loaded high explosive ammunition and now Sta1 is feeling trapped. While Sta1 is trapped over there, E75 TS could go for him, but he is just simply politely waiting until, the, uh, until um, our uh, Patriot will join. But you know what? It was completely unnecessary. Beautiful game by our team. I feel like my butt definitely got cared in this game. And yeah, I'm not very happy about this battle, but it's okay. Let it be. Overall score for Ensk is 2000 combined. Definitely not ideal score, but it is how it is. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see, 1.4 thousand damage, uh, 1.1 thousand assisting damage, that brings our score to 2.5 thousand combined, but still could have been significantly better. We are middle of the board by experience, we are uh, sixth by the damage, it's okay. Could be better, right? And in the end of the day, we are uh, we are gaining 7,000 credits. 
all and all where the session goes i did 1.2 thousand damage with a tank uh with which i supposed to do damage as a light tank and i spotted 3.6 thousand damage on average and our session performance is uh 4.8 uh, 4.9 4 thousand combined i do not know what i supposed to say about this what can i say fellas uh bulldog is the best spotter ever if you missed uh, your opportunity to play with this tank since it's buffed, you should. Thank you very much for watching and skills out for today. Peace.